Welcome to Crackers and Goo, a game of patterns that teaches math and delights you. In this video, we will explore math strategies to repeatedly add or multiply hundreds with a non-zero, tens, or ones place. Some of the examples of these numbers we will explore are 101 and 102, 210 and 220. 101 is a hundreds that has a non-zero ones place. 210 is an example of a hundreds number that has a non-zero tens place. The strategies you will learn in this video will enable you to be more quick and accurate when repeatedly adding or multiplying these numbers. Let's hit the info button in the lower right hand corner to get to the information screen and from there we're going to hit the step button on the left hand side. If you notice on the upper left corner next to the sneaker the number 13, that's step 13. The description for step 13 is expand and multiply 101, 102, 110, 120, etc. Step 13 of Crackers and Goo, you will find games where you can apply the strategies we will learn in this video. The first example shows a pattern where each cracker contains a 200 with a non-zero ones place. Let's go ahead and finish the pattern. So we're alternating between purple and yellow. Purple 200. 201, 202, and they're in increasing order, 203, 200, 201. Now we'll pause the game so we can study the math we need to perform to calculate the total for the last pattern. Notice that the previous pattern is embedded in the last pattern. The only thing that we're adding to the last pattern is four 203s. Notice that the number 203 is composed of two 100s and three ones. We can write 203 in what is known as expanded form as follows. 203 is equal to 200 plus 3. Expanded form is where we write a number as a sum of terms where each term is the value of each place. The example above, we expanded 203 into its hundreds place and ones place. There are zero tens in the tens place, so we do not need to show the value of the tens place in the expanded form. When repeatedly adding or multiplying 203, we will break out 203 in expanded form so we can just multiply 200s and 3s. That is a much easier operation. We then have that 203 plus 203 plus 203 plus 203 is the same as 4 203s or 4 times 203. And we're going to break that out in expanded form. 4 times 203 is the same as 4 times 200 plus 4 times 3. 4 times 200 is an easy operation. 4 200s is 800. 4 times 3 is 12. So our total is 812. We will add 812 directly to the previous total. Let's go ahead and do that. We get 812 added to 1208. We can add the 1200 and the 800 to get 2000 and the 12 and the 8 to get 20. So we have 2020. So let's go ahead and start up the game and look for the 2020 bubble, and there it is. Great, we successfully completed the game. We can now go to the how-to screen to see the actual math we talked about in the video within the game. We'll look for the button on the upper left that has the symbols and math symbols and numbers. Press it. And you can see the math that we discussed about illustrated below the shrunken pattern. The next example shows a pattern where the new crackers added to the previous pattern to make the new pattern all contain the number 830. Let's go ahead and finish the pattern. So we have an 800 in the middle. Finish our 810s. Finish our 830. Great. Now I'll pause the game so we can study the math we need to perform to calculate the total for the last pattern. Notice that the number 830 is composed of 8 100s and 3 10s. We can write 830 in expanded form as follows. 830 is equal to 800 plus 30. In the example above, we expanded 830 into its hundreds place and tens place. There are zero ones in the ones place, so we do not need to show the value of the ones place in the expanded form. When repeatedly adding or multiplying 830, we will break out 830 in expanded form so we can just multiply 800s and 30s. This is a great strategy to simplify the process of multiplying 830s. We then have that 
830 plus 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 830 is 7 830s or the same as 7 times 830 and now we'll go to expanded form 7 times 830 can be written as 7 times 800 plus 7 times 30 7 times 800 is 5600 7 times 30 is 210 and if we add 5600 with 210, we get 5810. We will add 5810 directly to the previous total of 7330. That was a total for the previous pattern. We have that 5810 plus 7330 is equal to. Notice what we're going to do now. We're going to break out a 5000 from the 7330 so we can easily add it to the 5810. When we do that, we obtain that 5810 plus 5000 is 10,810. We're also going to break the 2,330 into three numbers. We're going to pull out the 2,000, we're going to pull out the 200, and pull out the remaining 130. This will enable us to add the 2,000 to the 10,810 to make 12,810, and then we're going to add the 200 followed by the 130. Adding the 200 to the 12,810 is pretty simple because the 800 and the 200 make 1,000. So 12,810 plus 200 gives us 13,010 plus the remaining 130, which together with the 13,010 makes 13,140. So we're going to look for the total bubble of 13,140. And there it is. Great. We can now go to the how to screen to see the actual math we talked about in the video within the game. So hit the button on the upper left. And now we see the math below the shrunken pattern. The last example demonstrates a more challenging pattern. Notice in this, in this pattern the numbers are growing by 1 both in the vertical and horizontal direction. Let's go ahead and finish the pattern. Hit the play button on the lower left. And we see that along the horizontal direction we have a 900 in the middle and then we're going 901, 902. And then on the vertical sense we have a 900 in the middle and then we're going 903, 904, 905. 903 and 905. Now I'll pause the game so we can study the math we need to perform to calculate the total for the last pattern. Notice that in the last pattern we have added three crackers with the numbers 903, 904, and 905 above the middle cracker and also three crackers with those same numbers below the middle cracker. We'll need to find the total from adding two 903's, two 904's, and two 905's together. This is not an easy operation to perform in your head. We will start by using the same math strategy we used in the previous two examples. We will use expanded form for each of the 900s. We then have that 903 plus 904 plus 905 plus another 903 plus 904 plus 905 is the same as two 903s or 2 times 903 plus two 904s or 2 times 904 and two 905s or 2 times 905. We're going to expand each of these now. And 2 times 903 becomes 2 times 900 plus 2 times 3. 2 times 904 becomes 2 times 900 plus 2 times 4. And 2 times 905 becomes 2 times 900 plus 2 times 5. Notice that we have to sum 3 of the 2 times 900 products. Repeatedly adding 3 of these products is the same as multiplying by 3, so we can simplify the previous equation to 3 times 2 times 900 plus 2 times 3, plus 2 times 4, plus 2 times 5. Well, 3 times 2 times 900 is the same as 6 900s, or 6 times 900. And again, plus our 2 times 3, plus 2 times 4, plus 2 times 5. 6 times 900 is 5400. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. And 2 times 5 is 10. So we obtain 5400 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 is 5400 plus 24 is 5424. We will add 5424 to the previous total of 4506. We have that 5424 plus 4506. Again, we're going to use expanded form to help us perform this calculation. We're going to pull out the 24 from the 5400 to obtain 5400 plus 24. We're going to pull out the 6 from the 4506 to obtain 4500 plus 6. We can then add 5400 plus 4500 to get 9900, and the 24 plus 6 is 30. So we obtain 9900 plus 30, which is 9930. Let's go ahead and finish the puzzle. 
and I'm going to be looking for the total bubble of 99.30 and there it is. Great, we completed the game. Now we can go to the how-to screen by selecting the button on the upper left to see the actual math we talked about in the video within the game.